dubbed the Benson Bunny Barn Burner. In Thursday's Class A state quarterfinal game at the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln, the Norfolk Panthers and Omaha Benson got into a shooting match that sent the game into overtime, and the Bunnies eventually got burned, 66-65. From the opening moments of the game, the teams traded turns at the basket. Norfolk junior Jalen Bradley finished the game going 12 for 12 from the foul line and connecting on 8 of 19 field goals to lead all scorers with 30 points. Benson connected on 28 of 70 field goals compared to 22 of 54 for Norfolk. Benson had four more offensive rebounds to Norfolk, but the Panthers outbounded them 42-40. Alex Starkle had 9 rebounds and added 18 points for the Panthers, and Garrett Johnson added 13. The game was tied with the lead exchanged hands 12 times. C.J. Carter, who led the Bunnies with 29 points, fouled out at the beginning of overtime, although Benson officials thought he had committed just four personal fouls. Norfolk, 22-4, will now take on Omaha Central, 24-3, in semifinal play Friday morning at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. In Class C-1 action, Norfolk Catholic pulled off a feat no one has been able to do in the past four years. The Knights beat Hastings St. Cecilia in Lincoln in March, downing the three-time defending champion 62-43 in the first round of the C-1 state tournament at the Pershing Center here Thursday. And they did it from deep, drilling seven three-pointers in the first half and nine in the game. Six-foot-seven senior Ethan Rosick jump-started the Knights by knocking down three three-pointers in the first quarter and scoring 17 of his game-high 23 points in the first half. Ewing complimented Brozick with 19 points and 9 rebounds. Eric Becker added 7 as 5 different Knights connected from deep. The Knights will now play 7th seeded Milford, who are 22 and 3, at the Bob Devaney Sports Center at 3.45 on Friday. The winner of that game will move on to the finals. For more coverage of the 2011 Nebraska Boys State Basketball Tournaments, log on to www.NorfolkDailyNews.com.